now in this class we are going to talk on next part of the dna sequencing at first <coughs> before <coughs> coming on the today's topic we want to analyze the bands of the previous class again because some students communicated me that they have no proper understanding for the analysis of the data so again i am revising only the data analysis part for the analysis of the bending pattern in the last of the last class in last class suppose four reactions i was uh, discussed on the four reaction first dimethyl sulfate plus piperidine it is responsible for separation of guanine and second reaction di methyl sulfate plus piperidine plus formic acid it produce guanine plus adenine add on hydrogen plus piperidine produces cytosine plus thymine and fourth one di sorry hydrogen plus piperidine plus alkali only cytosine in this way if we analyze the only one suppose simply it is the first reaction it is the second reaction third reaction and fourth reaction. in the first reaction here the one in band is present in the second reaction because the one in present that means here also a band is present due to the presence of one but if the band is present only at the second point but not at the first reaction in the first reaction it represents a and it represents g likely in the third reaction it is responsible for the here due to the presence of the cytosine and if you come here in the hydrogen 4 it is also present a band here in the fourth reaction also but if you observe a single reaction in the third one but not at the fourth reaction 
и я лечу три пагея, да? Айтофил, и три пагея, да? Тай. It is the basic binding pattern. That means, in the if in the pyrimidine line one and two represents the purine line and three and four represents pyrimidine line. In the purine line, if two bands are present in both first and second, it represents G. But if one band is only represent in the second line, it represents A, adenine, adenylic deoxydiboneucleotide. Likely in the third band, it represents the C. If both bands are present in the third and fourth line, and T if the band is appeared only on the third line. Now, I suppose that it provides a clear cut uh, concept for the analysis of banding pattern as the maximum Gilbert method. Now, we come on a band. Suppose a radio auto radio graph represents It is the first reaction, second reaction, third reaction, and fourth reaction. In first, first reaction, a band is present in the first reaction, and in second reaction. Here, again in the first reaction, and in second reaction. Now it is present in the third reaction and sorry, third reaction and fourth reaction in the third reaction only here in the second reaction only. Now a band is present here in the like this. Again a band present here and here like this. If you observe a band like this, then it is clear that the band represents the G. Here the band again represents G. Here it is C. Here it represents T. A. G. T. C, G, A, C, T, and G and A. In this way, we can analyze the bending nature and corresponding DNA sequence because 
we analyze the DNA sequence by a spotted structures of the band dispersed throughout the electrophoretic field. It is referred as wandering spot analysis. But the method is time consuming and sequence limiting. In addition with these two problems, the chemicals, some chemicals are harmful to the man. Hence, some alternate method and it is better to say here that an alternate method was developed by Sanger in 1975 and it is referred as sequence termination method. or chain termination, termination method chain termination method the basic principle of the chain termination method is very simple. We all know that the DNA is basically formed by the nucleotide and Here the one nucleotide and here Here it is another nucleotide. This one at first the phosphoric acid binds to the fiber acid. Here the phosphoric acid also binds to the fiber acid. And after the polymerization, after the formation of the nucleotide, these nucleotide are connected by the 3 dash and 5 dash. 3 dash and 5 dash. That means the polymerization is uh, direction of the polymerization is from 5 to 3 direction. It is the basic pattern of the polymerization. That means 
the for the polymerization this part is most important that is the deoxyribo nucleic acid sanga the principle of the sanga is based on the ribo nature of the deoxyribo nucleic acid that means the sugar here is the ribonucleic acid observed in the ribose deoxyribonucleic acid two dash deoxy ribose observed in the deoxyribonucleic acid or dna here a third pattern that is the A, 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 O, A, C, S, two, O, A, C, S. That is two dash, three dash, di deoxy, di bond, and Sanger used this particular nucleic acid. in the polymerization and the use of 2 dash 3 dash di deoxy ribose is responsible for the chain termination of the polymerizing sequence of dna and it provide the basis for dna sequence here again we use four reactions in reaction 1 the reaction 2 reaction 3 and reaction 4 we commonly observe that during the polymerization d Two dash deoxy ribo nucleotide triphosphate of the all basic components are required, and here in the first D ATP D TTP. D D T P D T T P. We use all these building blocks in all four reactions. Again here D A T P D C T P D G T P and D T T P. Likely D A T P D C T P. D G T P D T T P again in fourth reaction D A T P D T T P D G T P D T T P plus 
डीएनए पॉलीमरे टैक टैक डीएनए पॉलीमरे बिकॉज़ टैक डीएनए पॉलीमरे जिस एस्टेबल हिट एस्टेबल यार अगेन वी यूज़ डी टैक पॉलीमरे टैक डीएनए पॉलीमरे यार अगेन वी वी यूज़ टैक DNA polymerase. Here again we use tag DNA polymerase plus primer plus primer plus primer plus primer. Here plus D D. That means the di two dash three dash di deoxy adenosine triphosphate. It is the block which is especially used by the Sagar in 1975 for the analysis of the DNA sequence by the chain termination method. Again, two dash, three dash, D D T T P. Again, two dash, three dash, D D G T P. Two dash, three dash, D D T T P. And for all these analysis, we use the desired single standard DNA. Desired single stranded DNA as a template, and the desired DNA single stranded as a template. If we use in all these four reactions in the in the separate chamber, the polymerization is initiated and developed, but the polymerization will be stopped. When the ATP is present by the process of the chain termination, and after the uh, completion of the reaction, the The products are the reaction products are placed in polyacryl amide urea. Gel, electrophoresis for separation. The bands are separated by the polyacryl amide, and we are gel electrophoresis. And after the separation, the bands. Are studied either in UV light or by auto. Radio graph or by auto radio graph. It is the basic method, and when
suppose a model for the study and analysis and suppose a DNA segment is reactions are placed in the electrophoresis the basic electrophoretic principles are same <laughs> that is the lighter sequence has more faster movement and support is the reaction 1 it is the reaction 2 it is the reaction 3 it is the reaction 4 Here the band is we observe in this sequence we observe the band sequence like this. Is a direct map. Here we have no any compares, uh, comparison and the analysis. Here the first band we use the here in the first case DDATP. That means all the bands observed in this plane represent the A. In this second we use the DDTTP. That means all the bands represents here that represented the P. Here the D D C T P. That means all the bands represented here is actually represent C. And D D G T P. Sorry. That means here. All the bands we represent here represent the G. That means here the sequence is at first T. That means the sequence is T. Second one A. That means T A. Third one here T A C. That means T A This one photo one that is G. G C A T. Fifth one T. G C A T. It is the first band, it is the second band, it is the third band, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. And now you realize first is the T. Second is A, that means T and A. T and A. Third one is C. C, T, A. Fourth one, G. G, C, T, A. Fifth one, T. T G C T A. Sixth one A. A T G C T A. Seventh one G. G A T G C T A. 
get the one? C. C G A T G T T A. Likely, we come here and finally you, uh, we are in a position to analyze all the DNA sequences. Here, in the chain termination process, it, uh, it uh, of course, it is uh, better. It, ha it is uh, better than the Maxwell, uh, Maxim Gilbert <coughs> method, but it has also some limitation. First limitation, that is, it is also the time consuming and for the uh, analysis, uh, we uh, we depends on the indirect method. Yeah, it is a not direct method. That is the binding pattern is done. Of course, it is superior to the Maxim Gilbert method. So further, we developed it by the use of fluorescent dye, fluorescent marker. We use for the uh, in addition with. The method of Sanger, <coughs> Sanger is developed further by the use of die terminator sequence. Of course, it is the matter based on the principle of Sanger, but it is the it include a terminator tagged with the fluorescent dye. Die with different wavelengths. With different wavelengths. And due to the presence of different wavelengths uh, of the chain terminator, we can, uh, we can in a position to uh, process all the uh, DNA mm, that is not in the four uh, uh, different reactions but in a single reaction in a single reaction and after the processing in a single reaction because each terminator has a different wavelength uh, blocker and each wavelength is characterized by a different uh, uh, color emitted by the uh, block emitted from the blocking uh, side uh, we in a position to analyze exactly the dna sequence by a chromatogram by a chromatogram and it is the a, now a machine is developed known as DNA sequencer DNA sequencer now we use the automated machine that is the DNA sequencer which is responsible for the sequencing as well as production of the uh, chromatogram and chromatogram is auto, uh, also analyzed by the uh, different uh, by the commercial or non-commercial available uh, software for example, suppose a DNA sequence has A C G A A A A T C A T A C C G. It has the three sequence that is prime the three there. And if we analyze in the DNA sequencer, it is clearly represented here that it has the separate wavelength. The blocker, a DNA blocker, has the separate wavelength. And suppose the A has the blocker of the allo. C 
sea has rape. G. Green. And T blue. And if we do dig in a sequence, it represents the different wavelengths, and that wavelength are emitted uh, light with the different intensity. Because here the intensity is uh, magnitude of the intensity uh, in light, intensity of the light is increased by the number here for suppose here here it is the four here the in sequence it is the four that means here the wave of a it is the wave of a it is the wave of C, it is the wave of G, here 1, 2, 3, 4, that means here 4 times wavelength is for the A. Again T, like this, again C, A, T, A, here again double C, that is my C, and this one the, that is the chromatogram, this represent chromatogram and by the this process we analyze the DNA sequence in a single ray and the after the development of the uh, automated and use of the fluorescent dye automation machine and the techniques the process of the uh, DNA sequencing is developed, uh, but uh, uh, the DNA sequencing by the process of the chromatogram has also some limitations because if we use up to the 14 or 15 earlier, 14 to uh, 15. Uh, nucleotides, uh, the wave or chromatogram uh, is not perfect and likely when we move from the uh, roughly 7, uh, 80, uh, 780 uh, nucleotides and above, uh, it has also some limitation. And now, uh, today we discussed on the different methods of the uh, DNA sequencing and in next class, uh, we discuss, we will discuss on the pyro sequence. Thank you.